Well, mornings like these, waking up like this, having breakfast here on the side of the bow of the boat, couldn't wish for anything else. So we arrived uh, not where we wanted to be, <laughs> halfway. So waking up at two o'clock in the morning, because there is a good weather window, checked everything. It should be 15 up to 20 knots of wind. So we decided just to tell our story. I invested all my money and I also took some big loans. Unfortunately, it went down and I lost everything. We are Rianne and Garben and this is Hassan Benjamin. We made a few mistakes in life and experienced some challenges. Cancer, bankruptcy, depressions, and a divorce. They ignited us in creating our reality. For now, sailing around the world to find our home somewhere on our planet. So welcome to our weekly vlog, from raw sailing to slow living. Embracing the race of life. Sunrise. Yeah, we started this morning at two o'clock. Two, three o'clock? Yeah, two thirty. I woke up at two and then we sailed out of the bay at two thirty. And now this. And now we are here. mornings like these, waking up like this, having breakfast here on the side of the bow of the boat. Couldn't wish for anything else. We've got a lot to do today, but my day started pretty amazing. Oh. Yeah. 
toe. Maar dat is zwaar. Ja, heel zwaar. Toen even trekken. So waking up at 2 o'clock in the morning because there is a good weather window. Checked everything. It should be 15 up to 20 knots of wind. Look at this. I put everything out. And now we have this. It's it's like a mirror. It's really like a mirror. Now thank God we have some internet. Benjamin is very happy with his new toy. Benjamin, say hello. The funny thing is when Benjamin wants something, then he says, Gerben! Hello, darling. <laughs> you after waking up in the middle of the night for good weather and we're almost standing still. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we're making a speed of, let's see, 0 0.3. We are moving. Okay, so we are moving. Sorry, we are moving. We keep but going. I'm also a little bit excited about it because I can work properly down below deck without waves and going. You in hardly the notice that we are moving. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> only, only thing, only mi minus point now is that we have to run the generator. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to the solar panels we're gonna get in Italy. So uh, yeah. Wat is dat? Uh, not where we wanted to be, <laughs> halfway. Uh, well, we're gonna drop anchor. It's beautiful here. It's peaceful. It's quiet, and even Benjamin is okay with it. What is that? It's a fisher, fisherman, huh? Do you want to help the fisherman? Let's say hello. We said hello. So where are we, Captain? Do we have a spot to drop anchor? Yeah, we can drop anchor here. It's, um, it's on the map, it's the nearest place. There's no wind tonight, so I think it's a good spot. It's and we have, we have a beautiful view on the sunset. Yes, we have. So we decided just to tell our story and yeah, let's get back to 2017. I just sold one of my companies. I sold my house. At that moment, I bought the Perfect Sense, my dream boat, um, and I invested all my remaining money in another technology startup. I was uh, in very involved in. Yeah, and I was climbing the corporate career ladder. I was working with a beer brewery. I had this beautiful home in Amsterdam where I lived for more than a year and which I bought after uh, my divorce. And yeah, life was pretty good. And we were just together. We were that overly in love, love happy birds. Love birds. <laughs> happy couple that was on top of the mountain and nothing could stop them. Yeah. Um, but that changed within one and a half months. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, then the shit hits the van. The technology startup got into a corporate finance game and I invested all my money. And I also took some big loans to try to survive and keep the company afloat. But uh, unfortunately it went down and I lost everything. I lost uh, all my money. I lost, I had to sell the perfect sense, lost my mindset. And yeah, I also lost the taste of life. And I think that's the biggest loss. Yeah, the most difficult part. I had this beautiful energizing man where I fell in love with and I ended up with <laughs> 
A sack of potatoes. <laughs> yeah. A bag of potatoes. A bag of potatoes. Laying in his bed. Yeah. No, yeah, no. but I was I was really in a depression and um So Kevin didn't have anything left anymore. Yeah, he had a bag with some clothes, so I asked him to live with me and we were only two months together. And but we we just knew whatever would happen that we belong together and that we would survive. Yeah. And we even took it to the next point that we said quite soon that we wanted kids and we even knew their names and that even although we were facing a terrible time with the bankruptcy uh, that we wanted kids. Yeah. So we started trying to get pregnant and in the meantime I even uh, quitted my job in my corporate career because I was very inspired by Heron in the days that he was that amazing, successful, energizing uh, entrepreneur, entrepreneur to start my own company, which I did, a sustainable fashion brand. But um, yeah, all of that made that 2017 was very challenging for us uh, financially, mentally, uh, yeah. It was, it was a lot. So yeah. during 2017, we were able, uh, I was able to get a loan and buy the perfect sense. And we were able to pay all the bills by renting out my apartments. We live primarily from my savings as well. And uh, I had this hobby of coaching people. So I had this two to three individuals every year. Um, so that brought in some money and uh, yeah. To be honest, my new business endeavor was only costing money. So 2017 was really difficult. Yeah. And then we had 2018. Um, and at that form, moment in time, um, Gerber was getting a little bit back on his feet mentally. So he went regularly to the perfect sense to sell her uh, for yeah. himself to get more confident, but also to yeah, have friends and friends from friends on board to pay and cover the bills for the, for the boat. Yeah. It was really surviving. Yeah. And uh, in the beginning of 2018, I got pregnant of, uh, of Benjamin, which yeah, was kind a, of a miracle. Yeah, that's a miracle because I had testicle cancer in, uh, in my past and I had a lot of chemotherapy. So it was not sure if I, uh, if we could do it in a natural way, but yeah, Benjamin is a miracle. So uh, yeah, and especially by this. Yeah. So 2018, we were still being very creative with how we could pay the bills and uh, renting out an apartment was still the big sum of money to, to get everything covered. Yeah, thanks um, Airbnb. Yeah, especially in Amsterdam, so we could make like 400 euros a night in the weekends. Yeah, and so what we did is we rented out the apartment, we slept in the, the car, car. <laughs> and then we got back. Yeah, yeah, but what we did realize and learn during those two years is that although financially we were really struggling um, that we could make our best day with every day and i think it's also driven by Gerben having cancer that we really live in the moment in the day because you don't know if tomorrow will come no. uh, but i think also that we developed this kind of skill this talent to make from every day beautiful party so yeah, I remember the day. You want to talk about the in the dancing in the grass? Yeah. Yeah, it's a, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I'm very excited about it because I, I did, that's a very beautiful moment. Yeah, we we barely had any money to 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 fill uh, the tank in the, um, uh, the in the car to pay for the for the diesel, um, and then we saw the piece of fresh mowed land and we drove the car inside we opened up the the doors we put up the music we took off our shoes and we started dancing in the fresh mowed gas and that yeah that was something magical and we had a lot of those moments like early morning walks through amsterdam with empty streets just to see the sunrise up above the city it was like beautiful or enjoying very consciously the first sun rays of the winter that would came into my apartment in March. So we, we really were able to create these beautiful moments in every day. And this also meant that we actually didn't need a lot of money to, uh, yeah, to have a beautiful life. Yeah. Because for us, the beauty is in the simple things. Yeah. yeah. So that was 2018 and at the end, Benjamin was almost born. We decided, okay, we have to we have to make a decision now. Gerben was getting more into the game, and yeah, what do we want from life? What do we want 
to live. How do we want to live? So we said, well, we're going to redesign our lives. We started with a blank canvas. Yeah. And I think it took us seven days of working on this. Yeah, we, 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 we completely turned the apartment into a project room. We put all the white papers on the wall. Uh, we started drawing. We started asking all the tough questions in life. Yeah, we have some big wins now, so it's like, yeah. <laughs> We ask the questions that you normally wouldn't ask yourself and we actually we see life as, as the biggest and most important project we ever run. So it's, it's, it's insane that you don't take life as serious as the projects in your job or in your business, right? At least that was, was what we concluded at that yeah. moment, that we should do this every year, which we actually do. Um, but we started asking the questions like, what if anything and everything is possible? What would you do a whole day? And what if that day would be turned into a week or a month or maybe even a year? Where would you be? Whom would you surround yourself with? Where would you want to raise your kids? And how, uh, how many hours in a day would you still be working? And what kind of work would you want to do? So it's like all these questions that really determine how you want to fulfill your days with, yeah, with things. And we also really thought about, okay, but how do we want to contribute? How do we want to give back to community and have really that fulfilling life as well? Not only getting those goals in, but also having a life with meaning and fulfillment. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and in the end, it came down for us to sailing around the world to find somewhere our place to settle down. Um, yeah. And yeah, to inspire and enable others to live their best life as well, because we truly believe that anyone can do this, yeah, almost e anyone. Even after major setbacks. Yeah. yeah, so and that's actually also where Feel the Breeze stands for and when Feel the Breeze was born, it was in the end of 2018. Yeah, it was, yeah. I, it, it was the summary of the, um, uh, of the project. Yeah. We really wanted to create a family brand and yeah, Feel the Breeze was, was the outcome. Yeah. So, but we also knew that with doing this, we had to take some tough decisions, like um, me quitting my new business, uh, which I just started one and a half years ago, um, but also leaving family behind and yeah, taking a lot of risk again, because we still had finances not fixed and figured not, out, not, not at all. Case, no. no, but what we did know is that we needed to test this life first before we threw everything upside down we want to know for sure that this new life was actually something we really wanted because you think you can think of anything and write it down on paper but reality can be totally different yeah and because of benjamin was there and we didn't know if benjamin would love sailing as well and as a new we family yeah so in 2019 we decided to live on the perfect sense for eight months and we sailed from valencia to turkey and during that year uh, we rented out my apartment again first on airbnb and then we found these tendons that just stayed there until the end of the year so we had all our basic costs covered but that was it so our life expenses and if anything would break on the boat we did not have enough money, so we couldn't buy the groceries from that. So that means we had to be creative again. And there and then I decided to take my coaching business, which was still a hobby at that moment, towards making it a professional business. So I started with an online course in Dutch. I did some master classes. We had coaching sessions on board with one-on-one -on -one and group sessions, startups, directors, everything in the mix. Um, and we even did one day charter, but that was really a mistake. We don't ever want to do something like that again. No. And I was a hostess for some events and Gerben consulted some startups. So we really got very creative and tried everything during that year just to cover the bills. Yeah. Um, and in the end, when we arrived in Turkey, we had to have we, I had to ask friends and family for money to buy our tickets, so... Return we, tickets back to Amsterdam. Yeah, so we were, we definitely didn't have our uh, finances figured out yet. No, and that was, yeah, that was really uh, one of the lowest points. Yeah, so we got back to the Netherlands uh, in our home in Amsterdam. And then we noticed you know, within two, three days, actually, yeah. that land life, especially city life, wasn't for us anymore. So I made a decision there and then to sell my apartment, which we did within three months. Um, and I sold it with quite a good profit. And um, yeah, but when we sold it and we had to move out, Corona happened. 
everything went in lockdown, so we were kind of homeless and yeah. we didn't and not anything. able to to reach our uh, to reach the perfect sense uh, in Turkey. Yeah, and there were no flights going, nothing. So no. what we did then, as being creative again, we bought a Land Rover Defender with a rooftop tent, and we started driving slowly towards Turkey. And every time a border would open up, we would go to a different country. And uh, yeah, during 2019, we primarily focused on ourselves re-energizing again because 2017 and 18, yeah, they were just really tough. Yeah. And 19 as well. Um, so 2020 was really about uh, re-energizing ourselves. Uh, we were on the road for two months to get to Turkey. Um, so I decided to invest in the boat with the refit, to invest in our Feel the Breeze brand and our YouTube channel. Um, and I put my coaching business on hold for a year. Yeah, and you invested in all the courses of Tony Robbins. Yeah, personal growth, one of the most important things. We did even love coaching because the love relationship is the cornerstone for everything that we do. We yeah. had some spiritual journeys. Um, yeah, and I set some money aside from the profit of my uh, of my the sale of my home uh, for investing in cryptocurrency, in gold, and startups, and some stocks. So I have this whole portfolio that is working for me for uh, getting money in. Yeah. Yeah. So 2020, we did not have financial stress, and it was really about building the foundation of the Feel the Breeze brand for yeah. now actually this year so we really invested in yeah building the pillars the different income streams where the field of reach brand would yeah live and thrive yeah, on thrive. so 2021 which we are in now we have nine different income streams that cover all our life and business expenses which is for us really yeah, an, a, a milestone big, big milestone uh, we decided to uh, to give all transparency on all the figures we made a blog post here you can find everything in there and we know that money isn't a popular topic to talk about and especially within youtube transparency is rare uh, but we actually strongly believe that you have to have a healthy relationship with money to be able to yeah, become financially free which for us is a very important thing yeah. um, and with talking about it and being open about it i think that's the first step to coming there so um, if you are interested, we written a blog post, you can find it down in the description with more in-depth uh, yeah, information about our nine different income streams. We give you the figures there as well. What we're not talking about is about my wealth and how that is growing and how that is making money. Uh, but that is doing even better than our nine income streams at this moment. But our main goal is to for 2020. 20, 2020? Yeah. 20, 2022? <laughs> to raise our income streams and that they even have to perform better. And 2022 will be the year that uh, Gerben's going to pay off a quiet amount of the debts that he still has. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because that's, uh, yeah, that's still a burden on my shoulders. And um, yeah, that's the next step. Yeah. So uh, this is how we afford it. We have now currently nine in different income streams all built around the Feel the Breeze brand. Yeah. Uh, which is a YouTube channel, but much more than a YouTube channel. So we hope you like this. And if you do, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new here, click subscribe and hit that bell to get your notifications. And uh, yeah, we see you next week. We try to reach the Kirka waterfalls. Yeah, yeah, and a special thanks to all the patrons who are really supporting us from uh, from day one. Yeah, and who are very, very uh, patient with us because they didn't get the attention they deserve because that's something we didn't tell, but you can find it in the blog post. Yeah. We launched a community and that went a tremendous amount of work in, uh, but we have a free part within that community, so uh, you yeah. can join it as well. Yeah, if you are interested in how to, to reach your best life as well, and you want to learn more about the field of breeze, then please uh, join us in our community. Yeah, so that was it. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching, and patience, you really are the best. Yeah. You're simply the best. You're simply the best. Better than all the rest. <laughs> okay, that's it. So, uh, we changed plans again. Yeah. It's really difficult to find good weather windows. 
So we decided to make a pit stop at Sibini. So today is a very special day because this is the day we are going to do our first live session of our mentor program. Mm -hmm. 